I'm Sean, and in celebration of hitting 200 subscribers the other day on YouTube, I thought I would film a bookshelf tour video for you. Yay! Uh, it was quite interesting to film. I did run out of batteries halfway through, so I had to go and buy some more, which is fun. Uh, my voice does sound a bit funny, I have a little bit of a cold, so excuse that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so my tripod is actually too short to be able to um, reach this whole shelf zoomed in, so just that one, so you're just going to have to deal with all of this shit right here. So I'm going to start with my first bookcase and I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go on to the other bookcase. So we're going to start off with Elleron Park by Rainbow Rowell, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And then we have The Fault in the Stars by John Green, which is on display because it's one of my favourite books ever. Then we have Paper Towns by John Green. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. And uh, finally, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green, which I haven't actually read, I just couldn't get into it. Actually, I haven't read either of these two, I just couldn't get into them for some reason. Um, I should mention that this top shelf sort of going to here is my contemporary section. Then we have The Perks of Being a Wallflower by, Wallflower by Stephen Chbotsky. Oh, and pronunciation in this is probably going to be terrible. And then we've got We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. My Life Next Door by Henry Fitzpatrick. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Eccles, so I would say. I don't know. Now It's Good by Jenny Downham. Downham, Downham, Downham. One Day by David Nichols, which is cool. The Notebook by Nicholas Spark, which Sparks, which absolutely brings me to tears. The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. I haven't read this. Oh, hello, heart. Just get up there, you stupid. The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks, which I absolutely adore. And then we move on to sort of. Well, the rest of the books. Shatter Me by Tahira Murphy. Unravel Me by Tahira Murphy. Oh! And Ignite Me by Tahira Murphy. Um, these books are great, I love them. We have For a Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth. I am still yet to read this. Okay, and then for my third shelf, we start off with my little nogging, nodding bulldog called Eduardo. He did sit in my car, but now he sits here because he's a great book holder. Okay, so we start off this corner with Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lani Taylor, which, ah, oh, this series is insane. If you haven't read it, you need to. I love it so much. Then, oh, God damn it, Eduardo, get out of the way. Then we have the second book in the series, which is Days of Blood and Starlight. And the final book, which you can see display, is Dreams or <laughs> is Dreams of God and Monsters. It's just oh, the series is insane. We've got Cinder by Marissa Meyer, Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, and Cress by Marissa Meyer. This shelf is beautiful. If you haven't read any of these books, please pick them up because they're just insane, and I love them so so much and I'm doing so much hand movement but it's just because they're, they're incredible I love this shelf and then towards the bottom on the fourth shelf we uh, <laughs> come to my Twilight and Stephanie Meyer collection all of the books so we first start off with Twilight by Stephanie Meyer New Moon by Stephanie Meyer 
Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. Eh. And the big old bad Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer, which is battered. They're all supremely battered. And then we have the Twilight Saga, the official illustrated guide, which is a companion series. And it says Stephanie Meyer, so I guess, yeah, Stephanie Meyer. And then we've got The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, an Eclipse novella by Stephanie Meyer. And here we have the Ty Twilight Director's Notebook by Catherine Hardwick. She was the director of Twilight, so she wrote a little notebook, which is actually very interesting. It really interests me. And then we have Twilight the Graphic Novel Volume 1 and Volume 2. Oh. And then we have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Now, if you haven't read this book yet, you need to. It is ten times better than Twilight and it's so good and it's just, it is seriously a good book. You need to give it a chance. Don't be put off just by the fact that it's by Stephanie Meyer and you think the Twilight's crap. If you do, then we are friends. Okay, and then next we have Angel Fool by Susan E, which is an outstanding book. And the second book in the series, World After. And here we move on to the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. So we've got Delirium, Pandemonium, and Requiem. And then in the corner I just have a picture of me and my two friends, just chilling. Yeah. Okay, and this shelf here is the fifth one. Uh, here I just have a flower thing, just cause. And then I have Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Got the wave flower. It's not a very good bookend, I've noticed. And then the second book in the series, which is Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse and Percy Jackson, oh, Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth, which I haven't actually read yet, and I still need to get to the final book in the series. Uh, and then these two I haven't read, but that is Heroes of Olympus, the, Heroes of Olympus the Lost Hero by Rick Riordan, and, oh, and The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. And then we move on to the classic, area classic series i think everybody has this in the bookshelf if you don't what are you doing we have harry potter and the philosopher's stone by jk rowling just appreciate how old and battered these books are they are ancient and the pages are so thin i can't even then we have harry potter and the chamber of secrets by jk rowling harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban by jk rowling Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. <laughs> losing my words. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. And finally, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. I'm really irritated that none of these books match, but when I was younger, I reading them. It just didn't matter to me. And then here on display we have Legend by Mary Lou. I am yet to read the rest of the series. I have the other one on another shelf, which is my TDR shelf, so yeah. Okay, and then on the bottom shelf of the first book case, I have got oops, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Then I've got my two copies of The Hunger Games. Obviously, this one is completely battered and this is my one that likes to fall down a lot. This is my good one which I used to display. Then we have The Hunger Games Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins and The Hunger Games Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins and a timber pile of books. And then over here we have Darkest Minds by Alexandra, ba by Alexandra Bracken. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Ashes by Ilsa J. Bick. 
and Shadows by Ilse Javik. Then we have Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Then a book that I read ages and ages ago when I was in year seven, I think, which is Alone on a Wide Wide Sea by Michael Mapurgo. Pure by Juliana Bagot. I am still yet to read to carry on with the rest of the series. I just don't know why I haven't carried on with it, really. I have no excuse. And finally, we have got Grace Lynn by Christian Cashaw. 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 Names. Don't know. Woo! Okay, and then we move on to my second bookshelf, which is technically two bookshelves stacked on top of each other. Uh, they're just little ones. They all look ugly on their own, so... Yeah. Um, on the first shelf, I literally only have three books, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, Crown of Midnight, and the novella. Well, there's loads of novellas. <laughs> the Assassin's Blade. I am yet to read this one. And then here I just sort of have a box full of random things like my glasses, which I never wear. Ooh, some nail varnish, a watch, bell sticker, and you know, all kinds of crap. And then the second shelf is quite a good looking one yet again. We have got my Rochelle Mead collection starting here, which starts with Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Oh, fuck. Shadow Kiss. Blood Promise. Spirit Bound. And Last Sacrifice. Then here we have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, which is an incredible book. And finally, we have Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. Goddess by Josephine Angelini. And Dreamless by Josephine Angelini. And they are a trilogy. And then here is just a picture of my three dogs, Alfie, Buster and Charlie. They are cool kids, really. And my third shelf is actually my TBR shelf, so I haven't read any of these books. We start off here with Abandon by Meg Cabot, or Cabot, however you want to say it. Then we have The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, which I need to read incredibly quickly. Uh, the Diviners by Libba Bray. Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Oh, fuckity, fuckity, fuck. The Archived by Victoria Schwab. The Magician's Guild by Tree Canavan. God, these names are hard to say. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Prodigy by Marie Lou. Ketchup Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher, which is just the coolest kind of cover because it has birdies. Um, then we've got Under the Nether Sky by Veronica Rossi. Then we have Blood Red Road by Maury Young. Um, I have done a video saying that I didn't enjoy this book, that I struggled to finish it, but I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try and read it properly. So that's why it's on my TBR pile. Then we have A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I'm super stoked to read this book, I can't even. Then we've got Poison Princess by Cressy Cole, which is the first book in the Arcana. Arcana? Arcana? I'm going to say Arcana Chronicles, which looks like an incredible book. And this book was actually recommended to me by my uncle, and that is The Final Empire, which is the first book in the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I've heard that this is an incredibly popular book on the booktube right now, so yeah. Finally on my TBR pile we have Landline by Rainbow Rowell, which I still can't believe I haven't read, but 
Yep, and I actually splurged out and bought it in a hardcover copy, so yeah. Okay, and then on the fourth shelf we have Nightshade by Andrea Karima. Oh, this is hard to get out. Come on. Uh, whoa, oh, bollocks. Stay. Wolf Spain by Andrea Karima. Ah, and finally, Blood Rose by Andrea Karima. And these are all part of a trilogy and they are really good. Then we have Shiver by Maggie Stefida, 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 that lady. Um, I haven't read this, couldn't get into it, but it was crap. These ones here are sort of the books that I didn't necessarily enjoy, excluding these three. Then we have Fallen by Lauren Kate and uh, the sequel, Torment. I uh, didn't finish it with the series. I couldn't deal with it, it was just, oh, don't, don't even. Here we have Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And then we have an incredibly important book, and that is Immortal City by Scott Spear. Then we've got Halo by Alexandra Adornetto. Then we have the book we all know that I hate, and that is Matched by Ali Condi. Then, that's upside down. Then we've got Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Slated by Terry Terry. Ha <laughs> Terry Terry. And finally I just have Wreck This Journal by Carrie Smith. I haven't actually done it yet, so I should probably do that soon. And just hold it up, I have a little apple candle. It smells like apples. I like it. Finally on the fifth shelf, which is the last shelf which has books on it, that are not actually mine. These are my sister's books. She doesn't have a bookcase, but she wanted to keep them safe. All four of them. So we have her copy of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. The Scorch Trials by James Dashner. And The Death Court, The Cure by James Dashner. And then here I've just got something that I got from ugh, a second-hand um, furniture shop in the town where I live, which just obviously says the Queen never bargains, and I just thought it was super cool. Then on the bottom shelf here I've just got a box of tissues, two notebooks which have sort of stuff of book tubes in it and other random things, and a pretty little box which I thought was cute. Okay, so that's it for the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've read or liked, loved any of the books that I have on my shelves or if there's any that you think that I need to read, let me know and yeah. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!